Hello, if you're looking at the screen, it says make the internet your warm market. My name is Lloyd Dobson and I'm coming to you from the white sand beaches of Treasure Island, Florida. Normally, a person turns to their warm market such as friends, family, relatives, co-workers, and neighbors for business prospects and customers as an easy alternative. However, guys, learning how to drive traffic to your business from the internet can replace that warm market and the prospect process with some very targeted prospects and eliminate all of those no responses that you get. Using the internet to make new friends can replace your warm market with prospects that have like interests that will more likely want to learn more about you and your product, service, or business opportunity. The process certainly works for me. It works for all the people I have in all of my organizations, and it works for millions of others as I am speaking right now. If you can follow the process, you can eliminate the two biggest challenges you face when getting started in your new online business, and they are finding people to talk to about your business and dealing with the rejection that comes from talking to people you don't know. Guys, some of the reasons to use the internet to replace your warm market is one is convenience. You can send an instant message to someone anytime, morning, afternoon, or evening. You can choose from millions of people that are online at the same time you are. The second reason is you have direct access to more people. Every day you can connect with millions of people on the internet. No more long distance and time zones. They cease to exist. And you can meet someone online and establish a business relationship anywhere in the world and you don't even need a passport to do it. And number three, people are easier to approach. Sending a message to someone online is an easy way to net connect with a stranger. On the internet, the branding of your name and profile will position you to be liked more easily by anyone you connect with. Your name and profile provide enough information about you so you're no longer a stranger. If you contact people that share your hobbies, business interests, or personal values, they will respond back to you, don't you? The fourth reason, of course, is rejection is eliminated. Rejection disappears on the internet because you know a great deal about someone prior to sending them a message. Everything that they have written about themselves in their profile is your open invitation to contact them. Guys, you can recognize the people that will be interested in what you do by reading their profile instead of going through the traditional rejection numbers when you approach a stranger in person. You will find that 8 out of the 10 people you contact with a message will be agreeable to looking at your opportunity. The fifth reason is targeting is easier. Whomever you prefer talking to about your opportunity, like network marketers or teachers or stay-at-home moms or people in any type of profession, it is easier to find them online and communicate with them through the Internet with a message and then it is to walk into a room full of strangers. It is also easier to find people that share your passion for a hobby or other common interest. You can make a new friend by sending a simple message. And number six guys, it's a lot more fun. Communicating with someone in a message online is fun. Chatting with someone that shares common interests with you is enjoyable and it can actually be very rewarding. And guys, you choose who you want to connect with. You choose when you want to connect with someone. The internet is a very social place when you know how and where to find one, someone to talk to. Okay guys, if you liked what you saw and heard, you can go to the following and we will train you free on how to market online. And that website is www.lloyddobson.com. Again, my name is Lloyd Dobson coming to you from my branch office 
on the white sand beaches here in Treasure Island, Florida, and I'll see you at the very tip-tip top.